Good afternoon. In this video, we will be exploring the need for relatedness in artificial intelligence with a specific focus on the Alexa voice assistant technology. There are six main contents in this video. We will first discuss relatedness as an AI domain and identify previous strategies that fulfill the need for relatedness in technology. We will introduce a user persona and their current interaction scenario with Alexa and then explain our concept of how to improve the user's experience and an updated interaction scenario with Alexa. We have selected relatedness as our AI domain of focus with the Alexa voice assistant as our target application. Relatedness is one of the three basic psychological needs. It is the experience of being connected to others to feel like you belong in groups. The frustration of relatedness is described by social alienation, exclusion, and loneliness. Relatedness is potentially threatened or insufficiently considered in voice assistant technologies due to the lack of personalized communication and lack of empathy. Currently, we do not see voice assistants like Alexa as a social technology, but rather as planners. The presence of relatedness in voice assistants is threatened by the breach of privacy. It is important that users trust their voice assistants to maximize their functionality. While debated, proactivity from voice assistants could increase relatedness among users. However, for a machine to suggest things without asking them to do so could be a scary step for current users, which would threaten their basic needs like autonomy. Relatedness is particularly relevant in voice assistant technologies because users get in contact with them every day and they are part of the user's home. Furthermore, the current market projection by Insider Intelligence states that the number of voice assistant users will continue creeping up to nearly half the U.S. adult population. We expect just over 48% of U.S. adults will be monthly users of this technology in the next three years. We chose relatedness because we recognize the importance of social connection in an increasingly digital society. The self-determination theory suggests that people are motivated by three innate and universal psychological needs, competence, relatedness, and autonomy. Previous scientific literature explores how to support competence, autonomy, and relatedness in conversational agents through two phases. In phase one, the self-determination theory is applied to inform conversational agent design. This phase explores how conversational agents could support or hinder the fulfillment of relatedness. In phase two, design guidelines are derived. This phase translates the findings and implications from phase one into design guidelines. This strategy could help identify users' expectations and concerns with regards to the social roles of conversational agents or voice assistants in their daily lives. To introduce our concept, we will first describe our user persona. This is Robert, and Robert is in need of more relatedness. He is 25 years old and identifies as a male user. He's a university student in Austria, and his AI experience is minimal. His life quote is anytime, anywhere. Robert has many frustrations and goals. He seeks to be a full-time university student with a developed sense of time management. He is also a very social person and wants to enjoy his young years with as many friends as possible. He likes to stay off his phone and takes part in being social media free because he finds it liberating. His priority as a person is to engage in meaningful connections and live a full life. In our interaction scenario, Robert is a full-time student at JKU and he lives in an apartment with some university friends in Linz. His roommates are pretty techie and they like to use Alexa as an in-home voice assistant. It is Saturday at 9 a.m. Robert just woke up hungry with a long busy week reflected on his grumpy face. He goes into the kitchen to fix himself some breakfast. He's thinking about how this weekend will probably be spent at home like the last rainy weekends, playing video games and whatnot. Robert isn't content with that, but he doesn't do anything about it. Alexa, how is the weather going to be today? It is cloudy and will be rainy the whole afternoon till early morning tomorrow. Ah, uh, that's what I thought. How about tomorrow? Tomorrow is sunny all day. Hmm. I should do something tomorrow. 
But now I have to check if someone is up to join. Nah, they probably have plans. I can't bother. Another pizza for Sunday then. In this audio, you heard a basic interaction between Robert and Alexa. We believe that this conversation could have been improved if the voice assistant could have empathized with Robert. Our concept fixes the need for relatedness and empathy through subjective communication. This would require a software update where Alexa can recognize the user speaking. Each Alexa would have registered users and their respective profiles. Just like smartphones can identify users through fingerprints or facial recognition, Alexa can identify users through their voice. Next, Alexa can detect the mood of the user. Alexa could have detected that Robert was disappointed of how his weekend was going. Alexa will then retrieve information from Robert's profile. Alexa recognizes Robert's favorites and hobbies based on his profile preferences. This will help Alexa suggest possible activities that could help brighten up Robert's mood. In addition, there will be a social networking feature inside Alexa. Alexa could be programmed to have limited access to other users' schedules to make recommendations. Imagine a network of Alexas where needs and requests between users are exchangeable and accounted for. The updated scenario sounds like this. Alexa, how is the weather going to be today? Alexa recognized his down mood, and knowing in advance how busy was his week was from his schedule, it answers empathetically. It is going to be rainy the whole afternoon till early morning tomorrow. Do you also know today Martin Scorsese's new movie is screening in Movimento? Oh really? I need to go watch this movie. He is my favorite director. I know he is your favorite director. You told me how Taxi Driver is your favorite film of all time. Thanks Alexa for letting me know about the screening. I would have missed it otherwise. Remind me to book the ticket in the afternoon. Sure thing. By the way, how is the weather going to be tomorrow? Hmm, it is going to be sunny with a cool breeze. You should go for a swim by the lake. Yeah, that's a good plan. But I don't want to go alone. But Nina is free tomorrow afternoon. Shall I call her? Oh, I see. Yes, call her. In this scenario, Alexa recognized the user, detected their mood, retrieved information about their profile preferences, and acted as a social network. In conclusion, we have seen how to improve relatedness in Alexa through subjective communication. The main challenge of this recommendation is user trust and the breach of privacy. Some users may find this update too personal. However, we believe that the benefits of relatedness outweighs users' concerns. Other suggestions we have are to improve relatedness in the hardware aspect of voice assistance and to increase the need for other psychological needs of the self-determination theory like competence and autonomy in voice assistant technology. We have used multiple resources and references to produce this video. Thank you so much for watching and please don't hesitate to reach out if you have any questions or ideas.